A smile can say a lot about a person, but imagine never being able to. For one upstate veteran, that's been his life until today. We do need to warn you that some of the details and pictures you're about to see may be a little graphic. WYFF News 4's Allison Powell has his story. You've always heard that a smile says a thousand words about a person. But for John Reed, his has a lot of talking left to do. A lot of words to make up for. <laughs> A veteran deployed twice, John didn't have the best experience with the dentist. But it really started in basic training. I had a toothache. Uh, they pulled the tooth, broke part of my jawbone, and I actually got deployed to Iraq. And instead of actually fixing the teeth, they filed them all the way down and built them back up with the resin. After that, his teeth broke off and he never went back. Now that he's home, he took a job with local law enforcement. So you, unfortunately, you judge people a lot of times by their smile, by their teeth. And with me being in law enforcement, you know, I'll show up on scene with these people and they look at me and I'm like, oh, you look at you, your teeth are worse than mine are. You know, close my now, mouth without a smile, John uses his better, eyes and, and lips. And, with, and that's what I meant earlier by smiling with my eyes. Because when you close your mouth and smile, my kids have don't even really remember me smiling. And then we have three of them. And it's been so long. And he didn't think that would ever change until a few months ago when and he met Dr. Horton. We've been on the phone with Zurich, Switzerland uh, for the last week or two weeks trying to finalize the software details of the surgical guides to make this happen. A surgery like this can cost close to $50,000, but John won't pay that. Dr. Horton, in partnership with Dr. Howell, has worked to get most of it donated. We do a lot of routine surgery and, you know, that is necessary, but to do this and actually change a life um, and change a smile, uh, more importantly, is going to be fantastic. A small price. That moment this afternoon when he starts waking up and I'm allowed to see him and he be able to smile at me is... You think you're emotionally prepared for that? Nope, not at all. <laughs> for a life-changing moment. I want him to be able to smile and be comfortable with his smile and, and to be able to show you know, the world what I know is in there. Allison Powell, WYFF News 4 in Greenville. John says the hardest thing will be relearning how to speak without mumbling to cover his teeth. In two to three months, John will go back in for his final prosthesis and we will be there then to see his full smile. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. News